if you find this video helpful then feel free to donate whatever amount you can link is in the description below a current of 5 ampere flows through a series resistance and inductance circuit when a 250 volt 50 hertz supply is connected if voltage across resistance is 100 volt then calculate number 1 resistance number 2 voltage across inductance number 3 inductance number 4 power factor number 5 active power and number 6 reactive power solution first of all we will draw the circuit so the circuit will look like this this will be a resistance in series with inductor and the voltage across it is 250 volt AC supply so this will be a AC source of 250 volt and 50 hertz the value of resistance is we have to find the value of inductance is also we have to find the voltage across voltage across resistance is 100 volt so this voltage is 100 volt this is the value of vr this will be the vl so first of all we have to find the value of resistance so to find the value of resistance here we can see the value of current is also given so this current i is equal to 5 ampere now we have the value of current and voltage by using ohm's law we can find the value of resistance so resistance r is equal to vr divided by i the value of vr is 100 and the value of current i is so this will be 20 20 ohm this is the value of resistance r r is equal to 20 ohm then next next is we have to find the voltage across inductance so to find voltage across inductance first of all we have to find impedance Now impedance Z is equal to V by I. The value of voltage is given. It is 250 volt and the value of current is 5 ampere. So 250 divided by 5. So this will be 5 0 50 and its unit will be ohm so therefore impedance z is equal to 50 ohm now by using the value of z and r we can find the value of xl because z is equal to under root of r square plus xl square now if we take square on both side then this will be z square is equal to r square plus xl square this under root will be cancelled with this square b square we are taking a square on both side so this will be z square and here on right side this under root will get cancelled now we have the value of z and r so we have to find the value of xl so from here we can say xl square is equal to z square minus r square or we can say xl is equal to under root of z square minus r square now we will substitute the value of z and r the value of z is 50 ohm so this will be 50 minus this will be 50 square then minus r square will be 20 square so this will be 20 square so therefore xl is equal to under root of 50 square minus 20 square 
so it is 45.82 45.82 ohm this is the value of inductive reactance the unit of inductive reactance is ohm then next is from here we can find the value of inductance because inductance inductive reactance is equal to 2 pi f into l so from here l is equal to xl divided by 2 pi f here the value of xl is 45.82 divided by 2 pi multiplied by f f is the frequency and its value is here we can see frequency is 50 hertz so this will be 50 now if we calculate this so this will be 45.82 divided by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 50 so it is 0 0.145 0 0.145 Four five. This is the inductance, so its unit will be Henry. So therefore, L is equal to zero point one four five Henry. Now, resistance value, then voltage across inductance. Next, we have to find. We already find the value of resistance and inductance. Next, we have to find voltage across inductance. So, voltage across inductance will be VL is equal to VL is equal to XL into I. So, VL is equal to XL XL into I. The value of inductive reactance is 45.82. 45.82 multiplied by current is current will be same in both resistance and inductance because they are connected in series so here the current is 5 ampere so here also the current will be 5 ampere so this will be 5 now if we calculate this vl is equal to 45.82 multiplied by 5 so it is 229.1 229.1 now this is the voltage so its unit will be volts now next we have to find power factor we know that power factor is equal to power factor is equal to cos phi and it is equal to R upon Z. The value of resistance R is 20 ohm and the value of impedance Z is here we can see Z is equal to 50 ohm. 50 ohm. So therefore power factor is equal to power factor is equal to r by z that is 20 divided by 50 so this will be 0 0.4 0 0.4 and it is it have no unit power factor have no unit then here we can see it is a combination of resistance and inductance so the power factor will be lagging the power factor will be lagging in nature then next we have to find active power the formula for active power is p is equal to v into i into cos phi the value of voltage is given value of voltage is 250 volt 250 multiplied by the value of current is the value of current is 5 ampere in this circuit then multiplied by cos phi the value of cos phi here we have calculated it is 0 0.4 0 0.4 so therefore power is equal to 
250 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 0 0.4. So it is 5, 500. And its unit will be Watt because it is power and it is active power. Its unit will be Watt. Then next we have to find reactive power. Next we have to find reactive power. So reactive power is equal to V into I into sin phi. Again the value of voltage is 250 multiplied by value of current is phi u multiplied by now here this sin phi. Now here we can calculate the value of from this power factor we can calculate the value of phi. So first of all since cos phi is equal to 0 0.4 so therefore phi is equal to cos inverse of 0 0.4. So this will be cos inverse of 0 0.4. It is 66.42, 66.42 degree. Now here we will substitute the value of this phi. So this will be 250 multiplied by phi u multiplied by sine 66.42 degree. Now if we calculate this, so this will be 250 multiplied by phi u multiplied by sin 66.42 to 50 multiplied by phi u multiplied by sin 66.42 it is 1145 1145 point 628 and since it is reactive power this is the or reactive power and reactive power is denoted by Q. It is denoted by Q. This is also Q. And this is also Q. This is separate parts. This is, a, this is the calculation for phi. Now, here this is a reactive power and it is equal to 1145.62. Now, its unit will be volt ampere reactive that is VAR. So what we have to find next? We have already find, found resistance, voltage across inductance, inductance, power factor, active power, reactive power. So this is the value of resistance, this is the value of inductive reactance, this is the value of inductance, voltage across inductance, is VL is equal to 2 to 9.1 volt, then power factor is 0 0.4, then real power is 500 watt, then reactive power is 1145.628 VAR that is volt ampere reactive. If you find this video helpful, then feel free to donate whatever amount you can. Link is in the description below. Thank you.